Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy. I'm your guy for DIY and so much more. Hold on, please. I almost felt naked that I didn't take a puff before a video. All right. I think I've acclimated. So I'm excited today because I'm doing another review for the uh, Beard Lineup E-Juice by Vapeco. Uh, today we're doing custard with a dash of custard. Yes, I thought I might have been stuttering or reading wrong, so I'm holding it up to the microphone. Really, how much better could you get? Custard. Custard. What? Custard with custard? Yeah, that's really good right there. That's like a double shot of espresso, but only a double shot of custard. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, a uh, 85 to 15 ratio of VG to PG. Um, this has also got 3 milligram nicotine by volume. Uh, I'm going to be putting this on. Dun, 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 dun. Can I get it up there? Block the light a little bit other side. Yep, haven't had my coffee yet. My HPRIV with the uh, 220 watt nice firing button and tank. Yes, I built the, the bigger tank out of it uh, because I got tired of adding e-juice all the time because I'm lazy and I puff too much. No, you can never puff too much. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so let's just get right into it, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. It's a top fill. I really like it. I like it a lot. Makes it easy and convenient. I've still got the plastic on it and forgot to remove it. My apologies. So now I'm going to chop the head off. Ah. All right, much better, much better, I must say. All right, let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. Ooh, you know what? It really actually smells like custard, seriously. It's a good day when you can get that to happen. See? I told y'all I always spill all the time in one of my previous videos. You see how I wasn't doing anything too fast, too much, and I already, already did that. Party foul, yes, party foul. Okay, let's try this again. The uh, real reason for that, though, is uh, I should be using a thinner... Um, one of those little thinner uh, bottles like this with the tiny uh, little neck that I could fit it in there because this is a little bit thicker and sometimes when you have a small hole and don't have a small dripper to put it in there and you go too fast it will actually uh, you know drip over so you gotta kinda pay attention to what you're doing oftentimes I do not All right, yeah, let's see, that's good enough to get her going. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And uh, what we're going to do is I filled it up about halfway. We got a uh, fresh new coil in there so that we could do this for you guys. And again, I always carry my little towels um, just in case something happens. I can wipe it up. All right, what I'm going to do now is take a couple of good suctions off here to uh, pull the juice through the, the wick on the coil. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it does. It smells like custard, like legitimately. This could be grandma's custard. I'm going to give a couple more if you don't mind. And what I'm doing... If you're wondering why the heck I'm doing that without hitting the fire button, 
is again we want to draw some of that that oil the juice through the the uh, the wick there on the coil so that when we hit that fire button especially because this is a 220 watt we do not want to get those dry burnt hits that never go away until you change your coil again and wash out everything and hack up a lung and all that stuff so I uh, try to do that four or five good times what do you say Ooh, it's very mellow and it it's mellow and it's not overly sweet so it's not the flavor is not being driven by the sweetness but it is mellow it tastes like custard it I'm genuinely surprised here because there are some flavors out there, about 75% of them, of them, they have a title, and if you just gauge the juice by the titles, you kind of get disappointed sometimes because they don't always taste what their titles or the, the juice name is saying. This one here... It legitimately does. Again, very mild. Uh, I am a person that loves custard. I grew up in a family that we did tapioca, rice pudding, custards. That was a, a staple in our, our kitchen. Uh, I'm in my mid-40s, and I can remember that. Four years old, five years old at my grandma's house. Uh, and now I'm getting to enjoy this taste here. Um... In my vape that that can't do nothing wrong about that one of the other things you worry about um, especially if, if you know any of your recipes like with custards you'd worry about like the vanilla or uh, perhaps the egg being more prevalent um, that's not the case with this you it doesn't taste eggy at all uh, you've got the gentleness of the custard without over uh, tuning it up with with uh, vanilla Wow you know what guys I recommend this one wholeheartedly by the way the number on this one is 51 beard lineup uh, vape co custard uh, yeah custard with a dash of custard now that's kind of a cool slick name 85 to 15 VG to PG with 3 milligram by volume nicotine. Uh, you guys, this this one here is a good one. This is a this is something I could see myself at night uh, doing a, a coffee. Um, I drink decaf at night, and I could see myself putting this in this vape and just enjoying a good evening. It really, really is. Having said that, I know y'all got stuff to do. So, later. Wait, I can't go out like that. That was a punk vape.